Hi guys, today we will be making a python script to extract text from images. Keep watching. Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Learning Boards. Before diving into our video, I would like to share some information first. Earlier, I used to make videos on different topics like automotive, general information and programming. But going forward, I will be making videos only on programming. So stay tuned for more videos. So without wasting any valuable time, let's dive into the video. Today, we will be building our script in Jupyter Notebook. First of all, we import some libraries that will be useful. We import matplotlib so that we can check our images. We import cv2 to read our images. We import os so that we can read images from the file directory. Along with opening images, cv2 also performs various functions. Some of them are processing the color, creating image array, blurring the image, changing threshold of images, etc. etc. So before using the PyTesseract, I will advise to install pillow library first and then use the install PyTesseract so that you install the PyTesseract. When we import PyTesseract, we install pillow library because PyTesseract mostly depends on pillow dependencies. So this is the first part completed where we install the PyTesseract. Now the next step is to install the executable file from its GitHub repository. If we go to the link that I will also provide in the descriptions, we will reach here. When we go down to installations, we go to install Google Tesseract OCR. On this page, we will try to find installing using built-in binary packages. This one. It will redirect us to this page here. We will look for Windows. And here we will click on this link. On this page, we will download the executable file. I will go for 64. I will save it. I have already installed it. So I will not be installing it again. Once we are done with downloading and installing Tesseract OCR, we can resume our programming. Here, either we have to provide PyTesseract to the path or we can use a command in PyTesseract that will automatically extract the command. So, if we use this line of command, it will automatically run. By this, our installation and preparation of PyTesseract is completed. Now we are ready to open images and read the text. Before that, let us scrape some images from Google. I have image scraping script with me already. I made a video on this. If you are interested, I will place the link in the description. Please go and have a look. So when we run this, it will ask us for the topic. So let's search for text images and we want five images. It will scrape five images from Google. Let us confirm if the images are downloaded. Here we have a folder train images and we can see we have five images. I will copy the path. So giving our directory in our string. Okay, now we have our directory with us. So now we can take out images from this directory. And we will use this lines of code. Here it will use the OS library to check for the path and CV to read the images. Here we are converting the color of image from BGR to RGB because CV2 by default uses BGR format and our PyTesseract assumes that it is getting RGB format. So we are converting the colors and we are making a list and we are appending all the images into the list. Let's check how the images looks like. We will use plt.im show to show the images. Here we can see we have an image with some text in it. Let's see if we are able to extract text from the image. We have a number of images in a list. So we will make a new list that will hold all the OCR from the images. And we will make that using these lines of code. Now we have five images and their text in list. So let's check if we can get text from the images. And we will do that 
using these line of codes and we can see the image consists of 8 new graphics and we have create new graphics as text so this is the simple procedure of converting images to text with this we complete our script but i will try to add documentation of cv2 and pytesseract so that we can understand different functionalities of these libraries so that was the video guys i hope it was informational and the files will be available from github repository if you felt the video was good leave a like if there are any suggestions or mistakes please let me know in the comment section below and most importantly don't forget to subscribe my channel to support me i will take your leave until next video until then adios